Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I am here to share a much awaited post review of one of my recent finishes. And that is the beautiful The Guardian from the artist Asia Trier, legally licensed from the store DIY Moon Shop or Die Moon Shop. And this was a really special piece in particular because this is a full crystal canvas or as DIY Moon Shop calls them, candy drills. Now what that means is instead of your usual kind of resin drills, these are crystal drills that just have a lot of really incredible sparkle to them. I had really been itching to try one of DIY Moonshop's candy kits, and um, I thought that this artist's artwork lent itself, well, I hoped, and I feel like I was correct, that this artist's artwork really, really lent itself to these kind of drills. So what's interesting about these is that the black drills are more of a matte finish, which that is kind of standard when you get like a full crystal kit. Um, but the rest are really sparkly. And I feel like the black being matte like that just actually is a really nice contrast and makes the rest of the colors around it pop really beautifully. So as I mentioned, this was my first candy kit from DIY Moonshop. It was my first kit from this particular artist and I am thrilled with how it turned out. So the size on this one is 45 by 45 centimeters. So it's not huge, but I felt like the size was really, really good for um, this particular piece. I think that the sort of style of art and the overall impression of it, I think it turned out really nicely. <laughs> so some of the things that I really loved about this canvas and this kit, I thought that the drill quality was fantastic. If you've ever worked on a kit before, whether or not it's a full or a partial kit that has these crystal drills in it, they kind of have a reputation for being like really not awesome quality in terms of you usually have to pick through a lot of trash or a lot of drills, like the finish isn't quite right or what have you. But in this case, the quality was fantastic. I was so, so, so happy with the quality. There was very little trash in the drills. And speaking of the drills, as always, or as almost always, we had tons left over. Tons left over. Look at all those colors. I think I'm gonna save them, but I, DIY Moonshop seems to have their own numbering system for crystals. Like the number on the right is, I'm guessing somehow how they've color coded their crystal colors. So I don't know. I'll probably just label these and make sure I know that they're from DIY Moonshop. But uh, the one hiccup that I did kind of notice, and I it doesn't really bother me on the canvas. It doesn't seem to be a problem. But these black drills, just you can even kind of see a little bit on the inside of the container. These just almost seem to be dusty. So I was going to go over the black drills on this canvas with just like a soft bristle toothbrush and see if it cleaned up or a soft cloth maybe. But I don't know if it was just the process of using wax to put them down, but they don't look dusty to me on the canvas, which I'm happy about. Um, I was really happy with the overall rendering of this piece. This kit had 37 colors, which is kind of a lot for a canvas that's 45 by 45 centimeters. I was a little nervous, but as it turns out, I feel like the way that the colors blended was really beautiful. I, I love that. I, you know, I shouldn't have doubted DIY Moonshop. They always do a nice job with rendering. Um, I loved how clear this came out because sometimes again, what you can run into with full drill crystal kits is that sometimes the picture will just kind of look muddy or not super clear and vibrant. And that was absolutely not the case with this kit. I think that it turned out really nicely. I'd be curious to hear if you think so as well. So feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Um, some of maybe the uh, 
downsides, I suppose, is I do feel like this was maybe a little bit pricey for a crystal drill kit. Um, it was a little more expensive than some full crystal kits that you can get from other shops, but you're getting kind of the DIY moon shop experience. And I do think that it went okay, <laughs> that it was, you know, you know, you get what you pay for. So uh, I was overall happy with it. I can't remember the exact cost off the top of my head, but I will insert it here just so you have that. Um, the other hiccup that I ran into is that particularly on the um, darker colors, the darker symbols on the canvas, like for the black, and then there was a really dark purple crystal color the the symbols on the canvas were blurry and a little hard to read it wasn't a huge problem because they were the only two symbols that had an issue and they were distinct enough from each other that i didn't have a problem knowing what drills were supposed to go there but when i first started on the canvas i kind of was squinting at it like is that the right symbol or whatnot i'll throw in a picture here so you can see what i'm talking about but not really a deal breaker. And I feel like DIY Moonshop is getting better and they've made some improvements more recently where they're printing with symbols that are more clear. So, oh, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is that this kit, I got it during its release month. I think I placed this order in, it was either November or December. And since I did order it during the release month it came with a free special drill treatment which on this kit was there are these glow-in-the-dark drills in the middle of the swirls in the sky so i got a picture of this in the dark after letting it kind of charge up under the sunlight earlier today so i will insert a picture here of how this looks with the glow-in-the-dark effect um I'm not gonna have this hanging in my home, so I'm not gonna get the chance to enjoy the glow in the dark effect. Um, just, you know, hanging on my wall, but I thought it was a fun touch. And again, also thought that it really fit this piece well. So, um, yeah, I think that's about all I have to share on this kit. Would I order another candy drill kit from DIY Moon Shop? Maybe. It would have to be the right piece. I don't think that all kits and all pieces of artwork will look this fabulous in crystal. And also the price point is high. Um, that's kind of typical with DIY Moon Shop and you are pay, you know, your order, your kit is made to order. There's a lot of care that goes into it. The quality on this, quality on this was absolutely fantastic. So I understand, you know, where that cost is going and they legally license and fairly compensate their artists and all of that. So I understand where that cost is going, but this was still a little much to pay on this kit for a full crystal kit. Um, the other thing that I guess I did forget to mention <laughs> um, was that this, I feel like this took me a long time to complete for the size. And I think that's because there was a lot of confetti. Um, and I think that it, it paid off really well, but since it took me so long to finish and it felt like it was kind of a lot of work to work on just because I felt like I was spending a lot of time, um, finding the symbols and having to kind of see around the crystals because there's something about the crystals that like reflects some light back up at you and it can just make it feel a little bit trickier to work on a canvas like this. Um, I still feel like overall my experience with it was super positive and I'm so happy that I worked on one of these kits, but I don't know that I'll be rushing to get another one anytime soon. And that's purely my own personal preference anyway. Um, but I would be super curious to hear from you guys on what your thoughts on this are seeing it, um, seeing kind of the extra glitz that and sparkle that you get with the crystal drills um and just yeah i'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on it i'd also love to hear if you have ever worked on a candy kit from diy moonshop and what your thoughts are about that is that something you really enjoyed doing or 
maybe not so much or you or do you have one in your stash that now you want to try so that's it for this one i hope this video was really helpful for you all and if it was please give it a thumbs up before you click away and if you're not already subscribed i'd love if you considered subscribing i try to share helpful videos like unboxings and post reviews and some whip and chats and other fun and helpful how to's and tutorials so um, yeah, and you can even hit the bell to be notified whenever I share new videos, which is not totally on a schedule because I have two little ones running around and record after they go to bed at night. <laughs> so anyway, thank you again for watching. I hope you're all having a really great day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye friends.